Hello, Paul Andrigo here, Toronto Real Estate Unfiltered, hosted by realestatepodcastshow.com. This is the big news you've been waiting for. My grand opening, first one of the year, first one of the decade, is coming up this Saturday, January 11th, from 2 to 5 p.m., right in Leslieville. In a very odd sort of full circle situation, it's actually where a lot of my success and a lot of the um, uh, the beginnings of my career were right there. Just about 20 years ago, um, I decided to start doing loft tours. I created a program called 10 Lofts in a Day. Uh, got some really good media buzz back then, but back in the early 2000s, uh, it didn't really go that far off of the, um, off of the page because <laughs> there was no social media at the time, but it was a really great program. It still is in play. It's still going. Um, and what I did was I liked showing people a number of properties. I liked telling them about history. I liked getting to know the people that were making these moves and make sure that they knew what I spent all the time that I, I do learning. Uh, I want to make sure that you guys are in the same position. So this is going to be uh, the next level of my grand opening events. Now, um, you might confuse this with an open house. Please don't. This is nothing like that at all. This is everything good that could happen from doing um, uh, doing it the right way. This is much more proactive. This is about educating you guys. And this is about as well, creating relationships with those of you who I have not met yet, um, and who are in the process of uh, making a move. So um, the, the best part about these tours and and, and these events that I'm doing, um, there won't be any sales talk. There won't be any tough questions. There's not going to be any pressure whatsoever. This is all about creating a scenario where you are in more control than I believe that you might, than you might otherwise be in a, in a, you know, in a different situation. Um, and that, that's something that really means a lot to me. The reason my approach is so appreciated is because on, on my grand openings, on my storyteller sessions, it's really, it's all about that. I won't ever try to sell you anything when we meet. That's, one of the things that makes me, I guess, unique, you'll hear me on my podcast talking about a bunch of things, but very rarely do I bring up the idea of you or, or, or me selling you something. That's not what I do. The way I would describe myself best, family man, storyteller, podcaster, and realtor. That's how I would describe myself. So instead of the usual wall that you might have when you walk into an open house and you feel like you're being, uh, you know, screened, for me, the, the grand openings and the Storyteller Sessions is, is really about just sharing stories with you that, you'll, that you have to know, that, you, that you'll need to hear to make the process as clear as possible and to give you some idea of the value of the, the types of properties that I'm dealing with, those ones that are my featured properties, and to understand the value of the community, where it was, where it is, and where it's going. There's so much more 
that goes into making a six figure. Uh, and it doesn't matter to me whether it's a rental, which is a four figure decision, could be five. Um, a purchase is a five, is a six, sometimes or seven. Uh, and if you're buying and selling, if you're going through that process with me, uh, you'll understand that it's traditionally a seven figure situation that's changing hands. So this is not something that I, I can't imagine anyone making any kind of a move to an area, from an area, wanting their property marketed the way I do it. I don't understand anybody who would do any of that without doing all the proper homework and being able to actually tell the stories and hear the stories that are behind these incredible properties. So this Saturday at 2 p.m., Make sure you're dressed for 1840. It's Canada, so you'll probably be dressed in something uh, in December, in January, sorry. Um, so you'll probably be dressed in something warm anyways. But on January 11th, from 2 to 5 p.m., you're going to walk back in history with me. We're going to start in 1840. We're going to go from there. And I'm going to, again, just make sure that you understand where things were at the time. And of course, I will be going over things like uh, the fact is, and this happened right in 1840, Upper and Lower Canada merged into one province called Canada. This happened in 1840. This is exactly when this building was um, uh, came to life in, in the first section of businesses started to become um, part of the landscape here. Uh, and this, with this particular loft tour is extremely um, knowledge filled from the, uh, the, 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 tour, the loft that you're going to be meeting me at. Uh, and then I'm going to be also making sure that you understand how it compares to others. Um, generally speaking, it's a pretty easy um, description. There's soft lofts, which are man-made. There's hard lofts, which are previous warehouses and, and properties that had other history, which this is to some degree. Then there's the third section, which is very much um, the case for a lot of the uh, conversions that have happened over the years. There's the hybrid. So there's the mix of the new and the old, depending on the time and depending who the... Con uh, who the um, um, who the builders were for, for when the building was happening. Um, there was in many cases, um, a feasibility, uh, situation where more units had to be added for the project to make sense. Um, and if this is what keeps older buildings around, then I suggest to strongly focus on that as well, because it would be great to keep a lot of the older buildings around. But of course, we need a lot of housing. I'm not going to go into that one here, but in, in Ontario and Toronto, for that matter, uh, we are way, way, way behind in terms of supply. The demand far exceeds it. Uh, and even with rentals, it's the same thing. You want to make sure that you're doing your homework. It, it, it never hurts to go through this process. It doesn't matter how many zeros are on the number. It doesn't matter whether it's a $21.50 a month rental, which is a fantastic price, by the way, in, in, in this part of town, um, or if it's a $2 million property for sale you know, in Leslieville or in the beach or in the Danforth, um, whatever the property might be or whatever the type of property you might be looking at, you can't underestimate the amount of work you need to do to really look into it, to really know as much as possible about the behind the scenes of the neighborhood, um, the, uh, the things that you might have heard about, and also some of the secrets, some of the things that you'll only hear when you're on tour with me one-on-one, -on -one. some of the stuff I can't publish. It's just, I can't. <laughs> um, I keep very good notes. And because of that, my tours are extremely beneficial to you. So make sure that you're going to see me on Saturday. I'm going to try, and this, this is always part of how I do things, I'm going to try to have an 1800s era uh, food menu. I don't really know what that's going to be uh, 100%. I've got a few ideas I'm working on. Um, if anybody out there knows me, 
connect with me and let me know what you think, especially the guys, uh, the guys and the girls in the food business. If you know anything about 1800s cuisine and what they were eating back then, I'd love to know because uh, um, I'd love to make sure I, I have some of that uh, there. So I'll definitely be trying to hit some of the more classic bakeries uh, and things like that, and just try to see what you know what what might be there that also helps um, tell the story. And of course, the music uh, will be from that era too. So I hope you'll join me. I hope you'll connect with me. And really, I just want to meet you. I want to meet with you. I want to connect with you in real life. Nothing's going to change in uh, anybody's process with real estate ever as far as like you will always need to make sure that you can connect with someone who knows things about that area. You don't ever want to just Google the neighborhood. Yes, Google the neighborhood. Yes, Google the address. Some some of the stuff you'll find with some places is accurate and some of it is so outdated or so one-sided that it's uh, no worse than any other fake news. So make sure you get all the details about every property that you look at. That's one thing I do that, um, again, I feel like it's, 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 uh, it's something that's owed to you. I, I hope you feel the same way. If you do, we'll see you there on Saturday. I'll be there from two to five. We'll connect. I'll uh, have some coffee and some tea maybe uh, and some, again, some hopefully some 1800s era treats. Um, not sure what they're going to be 100%, but it's, uh, it's going to be awesome, and I can't wait to see you. Have a great day.